Alright guys, it's V Singh here and welcome to my round 3 battle for the CCL, the Combined Championship League. It's a Pokemon battling league that I myself founded actually uh, over a year ago now I think. Yeah, it's been a while. Uh, but yeah, I'm here with my round 3 battle against the Savari Zone Stunfisks. We are the Canada of Carnivines by the way. Canada of Carnivines, go us. Yeah! <laughs> Uh, we're here against this Fire Zone Stunfisks, coached by my very good friend Kendra, aka KLG 24, 24601? No, 24601, because Jean Valjean and Les Miserables and all that. Uh, make sure, before we watch and enjoy the battle, make sure you go check her out. She's actually just started uploading to YouTube as well, just like myself. So go show her some love, go subscribe, leave likes, comments, watch her side of the battle as well. She's a very good commentator, she's very underrated, I feel. I tell her all the time, she's good at this. She should do this more often. But let's talk about the battle. Okay, so as you can see on the screen right here, we have a team preview. Um, I uploaded a team builder yesterday, so like a more detailed thing about my team is there. But I am bringing uh, a Manaphy, it's a physical wall, it's physically defensive. I'm bringing standard Mega Pinsir, Assault Vest Needle Queen, Scarf Shaman, Scarf Ditto, and a Focus Sash Zeb Striker. Now Kendra's team, uh, she brought a few things I expected. She has the Victini Sylveon Sceptile, I expected all of those. Drudagon, I kind of expected, but I was like, eh. Cabalion, I honestly did not expect. I, I was actually quite shocked she brought that. And Perugly, I did not see the Perugly coming at all. I will say that right off the bat. But yeah, um, my immediate thoughts as for her leads, it was basically a choice of, is she going to lead with Perugly? to fake out U-turn, because that's what Perugly does, it's fast as hell. I believe it naturally outspeeds everything on my draft, except maybe Zeb Striker. Uh, or she's gonna lead with Drudagon to get her rocks up. So yeah, that was my thought process. So knowing that, or I guess guessing that, I decided to lead off with Manaphy, because both of those Pokemon are physical attackers. Manaphy is my physical wall and it won't care, but if she leads with Sceptile, I'm fucked. But yeah, I decided to lead with Manaphy, predicting either Perugly Fake Out or Dredagon Stealth Rocks. So let's get to the battle. Yeah, I don't have um, standard battle music. Um, shout out to Ace Arcanine, go subscribe to him, he uh, recorded this battle for me. But yeah, she leads with the Dredagon, so immediately I'm like, okay, she's getting her rocks up. I, I, I don't care, she's getting her rocks up. So I decide just to rain dance in case she wants to like outrage straight off the back. Uh, like I can eat it, not a problem. I'll get the rain up. It'll cripple her Victini as well if she decides to do that. But she dragon tails me out, which is honestly fine. Um, I didn't really care. Uh, Pinsir comes in, which I did not like because Pinsir can't touch the Drudagon. Uh, I believe she told me this was a physically bulky Drudagon, so I swapped out, fearing. A rock slide or a stone edge because that would destroy my life so I just bring in the Manaphy straight away and yeah she does go for the rock slide and she misses in the long run it, it didn't matter honestly like that miss did not matter so I just bring in the Manaphy again just to wall this uh, Dredagon I just fire off a skull maybe catch a burn like hoping to burn and I believe I get the burn yes I do so now her Dredagon is completely useless so basically here she just gets her rocks up now, um, as you know in my team builder, I did not really bring any hazard control because my team, other than Pinsir, doesn't really care. So I was not worried, and honestly Pinsir can still come in on rocks and destroy your life, so it's like, eh. So I just decided, like, this thing can't touch Manaphy, I'm free to stay in and fire off signal beams and skulls. So she just dragon tails again, and I'm like, fine, I'll eat it, it's not a problem. And I believe, yeah, Nido Queen comes in. So at this point again, I'm like, well, this thing's a physical wall, I can just fire off pretty much anything and it will die, and I believe that's what happens. Yeah, I just go for the Earth Power. I believe I went for Earth Power, um, just in case you wanted to swap in the Cabalion on a Cheeky Sludge Wave. So I thought Earth Power was my safest bet because I don't think she had anything that resisted it, or was immune to it, sorry, because she didn't bring the Rotom, which I was ex extremely surprised by. So she brings in the Sceptile, and immediately I am like, okay, um, this thing can't do much to me. A leaf storm will hurt, but I eat it, and if I sludge wave, it's gone. So I decided, you know what? I'll sludge wave it. <laughs> so she protects, and I reveal that I am not scarfed. 
so yeah she knows I'm not scarf now so she fires off a deep pulse again I stay in because it's like I eat any hit and it should die to a sludge wave but I over predicted she saw that I was sludge waving so I thought maybe she'd bring in her Cabalion again so I flame forward flame forward was my best option since it hit everything else on her draft and hit septile for neutral so I eat a dragon pulse again and I sludge wave and get rid of the mega septile big threat gone uh, only problem is her Sylveon now kind of comes in and goes to town because this was my check to Sylveon and Hyper Voice. Nothing else on my team wants to take a Hyper Voice and at this point Needle Queen wasn't worth saving so she brings in Victini and just gets off the safe U-turn. Nothing I could do about that. I had to let Needle Queen go down. I regret it in the long run. I made a mistake. I fucked up. I fully admit that. Kendra, Kendra shouldn't have stayed in, but that's a point for another matter. Fusroda! Yeah, she, I'm a big Skyrim fan, and all her nicknames are Skyrim based, so yeah. Um, she brings in the Sylveon, and on it, like I said, I had nothing for it. So I just brought in this, and I started air slashing, honestly. Honestly, just hoping to crit it. No, not crit it, sorry, flinch it, but didn't work. She gets her hyper voice off. I take one, because I'm a shaman, I'm kind of bulky. And I, like I said, I'm scarfed, so I just fire off an air slash, hoping for crits. And at this point, I realize she's either max HP, max special defense, or assault vest. So she's a special wall. And I'm kind of panicking, because it's like, oh shit, I have a severe lack of physical attackers. So I brought in Pinsir, and I must have calc'd wrong, because I was almost 100% sure that this frustration would kill. And as you will see, it does, it takes it down to like 5%. She lives it, and it's kind of scary. So yeah, look at that. Oh, so close. And she kind of blows me back with a hyper voice. So yeah, um, I, I fully admit right now I was 100% wrong. I mentioned in my team builder it was between Needle Queen and Registeel. I should have brought Registeel just to wall this. So I bring in um, Esteban, the Zeb Striker. Shout out to Super Slayer 649. It's one of his favorite Pokemon. And I outspeed, obviously, and I can fire off a T Bolt and kill it. She knows this, so she, prefers this, she preserves the Sylveon. Sorry. So she brings in the Perugly, and she catches the T Bolt, takes her down under half. Okay, here I knew I was catching a fake out. Nothing I could do to stop that. It does a lot because it's a crit. Then here I, I made a mistake. I thought, you know what, I outspeed. I outspeed. I am a Zeb Striker, but nope. She's max speed, and I, in my team builder, I mentioned I sped crept the Archeops and not the Perugly. Again, poor preparation on my part, so Zeb Striker just falls. I, 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 I was not in a good place for this battle. So I just bring in my physical wall to kind of sit here in front of Perugly, because Perugly can't do anything to it, except this taunt. She taunts me so I can't um, tail glow or rain dance because she told me after the battle that's precisely what taunt was for is to stop Manaphy from tail glowing or rain dancing and it paid off for her. So I was like, you know what, fine, I'll fire off a Scald, but you'll die to the Scald, it's fine. You can knock off my leftovers, I don't care, I have, I have rest. The taunt will wear out eventually. So Perugly goes down here. And at this point I'm kind of panicking because like... There's honestly not much I can do. I'm kinda fucked. <laughs> so she brings in Cabalion and I'm like, okay, like usually these are physical and I can eat any hit and I'll scald you and I'll burn you, but as you can see, she can't mind it. And again, this is not this is not something I even considered while prepping. Like I mentioned in my team builder, I didn't spend a lot of time prepping and yeah. A calm minding Cabalion didn't even enter my mind and it's my own fault. So at this point I was panicking. I was like, I, I can't do anything. Like I just I, I can't swap out because something will get blown back by a focus blast or a flash cannon. There's nothing I can do, so I have to stay in and hope get a crit with Scald and take it down before it like I don't know, like it's gonna rest. I know it has rest, like I'm not an idiot. Like the burn doesn't matter because at any point she can rest. So I decided to get the rain up so if I have to heal I can. But also to give um, Scald that extra bit of power and again hoping for a crit. But she just keeps calm minding. She knows she can because I am a special Manaphy. She can calm mind in my face then eventually blow me back with a focus blast. So like we just kind of have a few turns of this. And I decided to rest that turn because I was fearing that she would just attack that turn. But she was playing the long game. She just wanted to keep... Um, calm minding until she kind of didn't have to anymore so fair play to Kendra she planned very well like I wasn't expecting special Cabalion had nothing for it 
um, in my in the back of my mind, I was like, you know what? I have um, I have a choice scarf ditto. I can come in and copy these stats. So I like, I don't know. why I was still quietly assured I could maybe do something with that, but we'll see what happens. So yeah, um, here I think I fire off a s yeah. Here's where she rests, and I was like, you know what? Fuck, I I can't I can't do anything. Um, I was expecting the lumberry is no, not the lumberry, the chestoberry. She should have been the lum to be honest, just in case of burns and paralysis and stuff like that. But she wakes up and I scald again, again, hoping for a burn. I don't, do I get the burn? I don't get the burn. And she focus blasts me, she misses, that's part of the game. It, in the long run, again, it, it didn't really matter, so I just keep scalding. I don't want to swap out and have something get bodied. Um, I don't know if I want to set the rain up again. No, I don't. I don't set the rain up. But yeah, she misses another focus blast. Again, it doesn't matter in the long run. I go for another scald, no burn, and the focus blast for her finally hits. Finally. And you know what? With plus, I believe, four at this point, I live it. I was I was shocked myself. I was like, wait, man, if you, you kinda thick. Um, I get the burn and I was like, oh she, she's just she's just gonna rest again this turn. So um, I was like, you know what? Oh, actually, she just, she just decided to go for the flash cannon in case of um, focus, focus blast missing, which is a very smart play on her. She did well to do that. So at this point, I, w I knew I was kind of fucked. There was nothing I could do. This thing is here, so I just send in the ditto. I was like, you know what? I'll copy the, the, the calm mines. I'll fire off some focus blasts. Maybe I'll get lucky. I kind of admitted defeat at this point, so spoilers, I admitted defeat, so I just fire off a focus blast, get rid of this fucking Cabalion, I hate it so much, I wish I had more time to, I had time to prep, I just wasn't in the right frame of mind to prep, um, yeah, so she brings in the, the Victini, Young Tick Vini, who she reveals to be Scarfed, because she outspeeds my Scarfed Cobalion, which wasn't max speed, and kind of blows me back with a V-Create. Nothing I could do again. So, yeah. I choked. I admit I choked. It was a 2-0 to Kendra. Congrats to her. Um, first off, I'd like to apologize. We are no longer undefeated. We are now 2-1 in, in the second season of the CCL. But, um, yeah, I wasn't in a good place. I like my. I have real life issues going on. That's why uploads are kind of eh right now and things like that. But... I don't want to diminish Kendra's victory. I spoke to her after, and I apologize for my the way I played. Um, she was she was very terrified of me, so I don't know if I feel like I let her down, like because she kind of won handily. But like, not to diminish her victory by saying I was going through stuff. I still feel like even if I was in the right frame of mind and I had built a team, I still think she could. She probably would have won because I just I did not expect special Cabalion. Cabalion is not a Pokemon I face a lot, even while laddering on Showdown. It's not a Pokemon I know well, and I completely forgot about the calm mindset. So I kind of got blown back, and I also messed up by not bringing Registeel. Again, poor planning on my part. I knew Sylveon was a problem, but I thought, you know what? If I keep Needle Queen healthy, it'll be fine. But Kendra, being Kendra, decided to stay in on a Sludge Wave. I don't know why, but she did it, and it cost me my Needle Queen, and that was my check to Sylveon, and it fucked me over because Sylveon kind of ran house. Then Cabalion came in and swept up the rest. Um, I probably, I get like I said, should have brought the Registeel, and honestly, I regret bringing the Zeb Striker because when I look at it, it doesn't do much in this battle. Uh, like as I mentioned in my team builder, which you should all go check out, um, I brought it purely to try and T wave Victini. Like that was literally it. But hey ho, congratulations to Kendra. You earned this victory. You 100% earned this, and I wished you. I wish you all the best for the rest of the season. Kendra is now actually three and zero. Um, she's one of the undefeated people in the league. Three and zero. So go check her out. Um, she's playing some. I don't. I don't know the name of it, but she's playing some dating sim over on her channel as well as uploading CCL content. So go show some love and support. Also, go follow her on Twitter. Follow me on Twitter. I'm a funny guy, you know. I deserve followers. Um, and even more importantly, go follow the CCL Twitter. All updates regarding the league will be there. Um, like when I announced my return to the league, it was first via Twitter, then a video. Mentioning videos, go subscribe to the CCL. Uh, there's lots of content over there. We have power rankings, top five killers, 
Uh, we have a nickname series. We have a series discussing the bands. We have uh, Got to Pick 'em All, where a bunch of our friend group get together every round and decide, and like everyone picks who they think they'll win. Uh, things like that. I think there's other things going on there. Some of the battles get uploaded there because not everyone in the CCL has their own channel, so some of their battles get uploaded there as well as their team builders. So go subscribe to the CCL. That's very important. Oh, and um. Everyone go tweet or comment on Ace's battle this round and say thank you for recording V-Sing's battle because he stayed up late one night to do it for me and he had ne he had work the next morning and he was late. So, muchas gracias mi amigo. So, thank you very much. So, yeah, go check out Ace. Um, But, yeah, with that, I apologize for the loss. I promise next round I will come back with a vengeance. I am focused. I want to I wanna prove myself. I have a reputation to upkeep. I've con I'm considered one of the best, so we'll see how it goes. I am battling Lone Wolf Marty, coach of the Warnsfeld Weezings next round, so in a couple of weeks I'll have that battle for you. He has a Mega Sable Iron, I'm kind of scared of it because I don't really have much for a Mega Sable Iron, but we'll see what happens. But yeah, with that, I'm going to head out, so leave a comment, subscribe, you can leave hate down there and say your team was shitty and you made dumb plays, I don't care, I know I did, it's fine. But yeah, um, leave a comment, share. Subscribe, subscribe to Kendra, subscribe to A, subscribe to the CCL, follow them all on Twitter, everything's linked below. But I'll see you in a couple of weeks, guys. Bye!